Horse Tales is proudly brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. South Carolina, a true leader in the equine industry. Folks, the old PD Cowboys at T. Ed Garrison Arena up here in beautiful Clemson, South Carolina. Folks, this facility is one of the best in the southeast. All kind of accolades for what they've done. Clemson's got a great, great facility up here. And today, we're going to show you some great cowboy mounted shooting. Over 100 participants from over seven states. They have got a great venue lined up here, folks. And say, hey, we're going to be kicking some dirt up. So stay tuned. Horse tales are being brought to you today by Nationwide Insurance. When the PD Cowboy rides, he rides with Nationwide on his side. By Southern East Horse Tales is being brought to you today by King's Tree Auction Company, selling land and farm equipment. Call Alton Brown today at 843-382-2121. By Equestrian Images, making memories together. Folks, ride on into Dillon Meat Center in Dillon, South Carolina, and check out their full line of Carolina Fresh Foods poultry. Tell Douglas and Terry Wayne Jackson, the old PD Cowboy said, come by and take home a package of Carolina Fresh Foods by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture, a leader in the equine industry. With the you by Morrell Tire Service, TV. Lata, South Carolina. Folks, ride on down to Morrell Tire and let Richard and his professional staff treat you like family. 2014 is the year of the horse. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture is working to promote your horses and your business. We are working to open new areas for trail use and to let the public know how important horses are. South Carolina has world-class horses and horse people. From race horses to show horses, we have the best. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture, letting people know how important horses are. When you hear the name Earnhardt, you might not immediately think of farming. But my family's been at it for years, just like Nationwide Agribusiness. In fact, they're the number one farm insurer in the nation. And with their On Your Side Farm Review, you get a personalized policy for your farm with the coverage you need at the right price for you. My family's trusted Nationwide for more than 30 years. To find out why, call your Nationwide Agribusiness agent today. Folks, the PD Cowboy rides for the brand, and my brand is Carolina Fresh Foods. We have a new product out on the range, so ride on into your local Piggly Wiggly or other fine retailer and ask for Carolina Fresh Premium Liquor. And folks, if they don't have one in the crowd, tell them to get cracking and call the old PD Cowboy and his elite posse of chicken wranglers. Carolina Fresh Foods, the name says it all. We are fresh delicious. There once was a hungry road that wouldn't let drivers get very far. It wore out their tires, forcing them to buy new ones time and time again. Then along came the Michelin Man who proved the right tire changes everything. With long-lasting tires in place, those drivers were back on the road to saving money. Michelin Hydro Edge tires last up to 33,000 miles longer. Michelin, a better way forward. Joining now is Jack Davis from Columbus, North Carolina, one of the board members for the South Carolina Mounted oh, Shooter. Shooter. Right, because I think you'll change your name, if you will, back. We've well, got a lot of questions. Uh, okay. How long you been shooting? About four and a half years. Okay. And what level shooter? I'm a senior men's two. Okay. And you just ran. How'd you do? I left one on the stick, which wasn't a good idea, but uh, happens. 
Well, I was uh, picking at you walking up here. I said, Jack, it looked like you've been riding all your life because you were uh, bow-legged. <laughs> Did I come from riding so much or what? I have been riding all my life. You have? I, been, yeah, I grew up in horses. So. Right. So where's home? Where are you from? I grew up in Indiana, southern okay. Indiana, a little town okay. called Terre Haute. Yeah. So what brought you down to uh, North Carolina? The Marine Corps. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I heard you were... Three tours of Camp Lejeune. I finally called this home. Okay, so you retired after how many years? Forty years. Wow. Well, we appreciate the service. Well, tell me a little bit about your horse here. Well, his name's Duke. I, I, I can't remember his long registered name. He's a registered quarter horse. He's about six years old. Bought him out in Missouri. He's actually my brother-in-law's horse. I'm borrowing my shooting horse. Come up with some issues, so I'm borrowing a horse for today. So, uh, but he's a good old boy. He's a good. He's become an old soul because he's a young horse with great manner. Right. Very, very calm. Horse. Well, so. You've been shooting four and a half years, right? Yes, so what were you? What was the discipline? What were you doing with horses before then? Well, we were raising quarter horses, and we were we were trying to get into reining, but we never got started there. And uh, I got sent off the Desert Storm, and then then, then onto Iraq and stuff. So we but we had horses uh, mainly trail riding. I got. You. So you haven't been retired very long, then, have you? I retired the first time in 2005. Okay, I got you. Okay. Well, what drew you to cowboy mounted shooting? The first shoot I went to, we heard about it and we went to it, and the first shoot I went to, they had uh, a prayer, the national anthem, the flag, and when they got done shooting all day long, everybody sounded like a beer and liked each other. I said, this is a good place. Great. It was, well, it, was, it was also just the camaraderie and the friendship. Everybody helps everybody else, and there's no nitpicking. It's not like uh, pleasure or raining or something where it's somewhat subjective. You either got the time or you didn't get the time. Right. Is this the first horse you started with? No, no, I've started with a horse, uh, another horse out in Missouri. We bought these from a fellow named Jimmy Allen out in Missouri. Okay. When I picked a couple of horses up, we started and uh, sold that horse. And, uh, so you ride him with a hackamore, is that right? Yeah, that's what his owner rides him. That's why I just leave all of him. It's his horse. So I, I, I used to ride this horse with a bit when he first came back. To okay. Missouri, but his owner likes a hackamore, so that's what we use. Well, I know you shot the pistol. Do you do the rifle and shotgun? No, also? I don't. I got a shotgun. Uh, my wife says she's going to not be in the same state when I shoot the shotgun, but you can shoot anything off this old boy. I'm telling you what, we put we put uh, a police from one of our parish on him. People have never ridden a horse at all, put him on and give him a gun, let him walk over and shoot a balloon. He, he's that calm. Well, we've been invited up, and me and some friends will come up and shoot with you and Sean and stuff, so that might be who I'll try it on. Okay? And I, I, you know what, if you have any doubts, you want to try him. We're going to take him there. Jack, once again. <laughs> thank you for the service to our country. Well, well thank you. And Semper Fi, right? Uh, you got it, Semper Fi. Appreciate it. Folks, join now, Cody Clark from Tennessee, a level six shooter, and what ranked in the world? Top 10, I'm in the top 10. Great, great. Well, we're just doing some small talking. This is, uh, I figured this was your number one horse, and you just stepped on uh, yes, what, him or her today, right? This is Ringo, owned by Sabrina Llewellyn. Uh, he's honest as the day is long. I mean, Sabrina's like a second mom to me. And uh, she, she was kind enough to let me hop on, and it's my first time riding him. And we went in there, and like I said, he's honest. That's what you need. You need a good partner in this. And uh, he got me through there just clean as a whistle. So you, uh, you're here in, in Clemson today because it's yes, a 700-point uh, event, right? Yes, sir. So what are you looking to accomplish here today, Cody? Uh, hopefully I'm going to win all three days. I don't, okay. I don't come here for second place, that's for sure. I like it. I but, like it. Uh, I'm just looking to have a good horse and have a good time. Good. Well, how long have you been shooting? I've been shooting since 02. 02. And we were just small talking and said, uh, I said, ask you what you did before you got into cowboy mounted shooting. You want to share that with me? Uh, baseball was kind of like my cowboy mounted shooting before I found this. Uh, to be honest with you, my parents rode horses all their life. Okay. They love horses and they try to get me into it. And to be honest with you, I didn't like horses. I scared death of We can get on one. And so after going for about two or three years and sitting in the stands and watching them have fun and me being bored, I figured life was too short to be scared about something. So hopped on a horse and faced my fear and here I am today. So you travel, so you travel all over? The, the oh, yes, sir. It's constant. It's nonstop. So what do you do for a real living? Well, I do, I'm actually in college right now. Okay. Got it. Um, I'm in the radiology program. Okay. Just started that. That'll be two years at Columbia State right near the house. Mm -hmm. I also 
you know, help help out my parents run the house, you know, to kind of get, keep the house up and running and help out with the horse. So what horse uh, do you run mainly? Uh, his name's 86 Gen. He's a, about a 15-1 Palomino. Probably one of the top two horses to ever, ever do this sport. Wow, okay. Right, uh, it's between him and Chad Little's Ricochet horse. Right. But uh, he's, like I said, you need a good horse to do it, and he can really, really works off his butt and slides into the barrels. I mean, he's a phenomenal athlete. It's one of those athletes where you just look at him and just go, wow. Well, I, um, I'm friends with Lee and Sam Helms, right. and so Chad Little's getting married this weekend. Yes, you should be able to whip him now. What do you think? I hope so. <laughs> I'm hoping the marriage that throws his mind off. There you go. Well, it, it will sooner or later. It's yes, all sir. good. Well, yes, listen, sir. we appreciate the time, yes, sir. and good luck today, okay? And uh, I just want to say that uh, thank you to, to everyone who helped me along the way. Uh, CMSA is a big family sport, and uh, just look to be part of it. Awesome. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hi, this is Christine Booyer, and I am last year's High Point Lady South Carolina champion. I will be probably this year as well, and I have been eight out of the last nine years that I've been shooting. Uh, we are here at Clemson at the South Carolina Mounted Shooters Association Club shoot for the year. This is our final border war and our South Carolina State Championship tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned for more horse tales. Horse tales is being brought to you by Perfect Partners Equine, a unique team approach to horse training. Brought to you by Joy Lewis Performance Horses. For training, lessons, and boarding, see my good friend Joy Lewis down in Conway, South Carolina. Brought to you by Booty Brothers Western Store in Florence, South Carolina, and Lumberton, North Carolina. Carrying the largest inventory of cowboy and work boots. Right on into Booty Brothers and mention horse tails, and then with a $50 order, you'll get a koozie. And a $100 order gets you a Marsh Tacky hat. And folks, supplies are limited. Right into one of seven family-owned John Gross Piggly Wigglers and ask for Carolina Fresh Foods three-pack fresh frozen chicken products. Always consistent quality and value for you, our valued customers. Carolina Fresh Foods. We are Fresh Delicious. When you hear the name Earnhardt, you might not immediately think of farming. But my family's been at it for years, just like Nationwide Agribusiness. In fact, they're the number one farm insurer in the nation. And with their On Your Side Farm Review, you get a personalized policy for your farm with the coverage you need at the right price for you. My family's trusted Nationwide for more than 30 years. To find out why, call your Nationwide Agribusiness agent today. Folks, the PD Cowboy arrives for the brand, and my brand is Carolina Fresh Foods. We have a new product out on the range. So ride on into your local Piggly Wiggly or other fine retailer and ask for Carolina Fresh Premium Lick Quarter. And folks, if they don't have one in the corral, tell them to get cracking and call the old PD Cowboy and his elite posse of chicken wranglers. Carolina Fresh Foods, the name says it all. We are Fresh Delicious. 2014 is the year of the horse. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture is working to promote your horses and your business. We are working to open new areas for trail use and to let the public know how important horses are. South Carolina has world-class horses and horse people. From race horses to show horses, we have the best. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture, letting people know how important horses are. There once was a hungry road that wouldn't let drivers get very far. It wore out their tires, forcing them to buy new ones time and time again. Then along came the Michelin Man who proved the right tire changes everything. With long-lasting tires in place, those drivers were back on the road to saving money. Michelin Hydro Edge tires last up to 33,000 miles longer. Michelin, a better way forward. All right, folks, they're running two arenas here today. We've been inside, come outside. Uh, up now is Clint Lane from Newberry, South Carolina, riding, I believe it's a Hancock bred Roan quarter horse. Good looking. I've uh, interviewed Clint in the past, and uh, he's a level four rider, and this little horse is doing real good. He's going to his random pattern now. If he misses a balloon, it, I believe I'm riding a five second penalty. All right, Clint, kill him, son. Oh, he missed one, so that's five seconds. He's getting ready to make the turn on his uh, run down barrel. And he's gonna probably smoke it here, folks. Oh, dude, get, all right, way to get him, son. Yeah, we gotta have him. Oh, Thank you. 
Folks, join me now, Jeremy Phillips from down in our neck in the woods, Bono, South Carolina. I'm surprised we hadn't run up on each other in the swamp. Yes, sir. Well, Jeremy, I was tickled to meet you on Facebook the other day, and you were up here. You're a level two shooter now, right? Yes, sir. Well, that's great. Well, how in the world did you get involved with uh, Cowboy Mountain Shooting? Uh, they put on a clinic, some friends of mine, and they went to the, the, to the clinic and saw it and came back home and said, man, let's try this in the backyard. And so we got a little equipment and started trying it and went to their first event last April. And I went to about six or seven events last year and did good. I, um, I won state championship. You know, they, they, they helped me along the way. Everybody wow. that's in the club is just so helpful and so willing to, hey, try this. Get Borrow this horse. Hold these holsters. Use this. You know, before you go buy one, try this. Try the one we got and see if you what you like and make sure, you know. And so they, were, they, they just helped us and catered to us getting started in it. This is my first event back this year, but um, you know, we're having a good time. The horse is doing all right, so we'll make it. Well, I've seen your little horse run. You did pretty good. So uh, I know you deer hunt and hog hunt off yes, horseback sir. like I do. So you were a step ahead of some folks because you had a horse that was about ready to go, Jeremy, or what you had to what oh, you had to do with it? I got a little mare. She's a um, throwback cutting horse. So, um, right. you know, she was trained by some real good friends of mine that actually taught me just about all I know about riding, too. So, right. you know, me and that horse kind of come along a little bit together, and uh, they got to the point where they was retiring from the cutting, and then they just said, hey, you know, if you want to take this horse and use it for whatever, you know, take her, because she, she was young when I got her. She was right. about six or seven, so, you know, and she just took to it. She had a handle on her, and she just took to it. Didn't bother to gunfire or nothing. It surprised me. But I've been training for this all my life. I think when I was a little kid, my cap guns and all that. <laughs> you know, I didn't think they had a sport for it. <laughs> well, that, that's great. So, from Bono, where's some of the closest places you shot? Um, we we shoot up here at um the Double J Arena, which is over in uh, Liberty, South Carolina. Oh, I got you. We shoot at that one, and we shoot at the uh, up there at Raleigh at the big uh, State Fair horse complex that right. they have. We shot there and. Uh, and been down to you know to Georgia one time, but uh, you know. Well, I'm gonna be looking you up. We're gonna try to go up with Sean Eastman and do a little practice. And I got some good friends, some from King Street, right there next to you. That's right. They want to get started, so. Uh, That's excellent. So we better. We've uh, we might have started something here. You reckon? I hope so. I well, listen, so. we're gonna watch you run here in a little bit. I appreciate, appreciate what you've done, and hope to see you in the woods one day. That'll work, man. We're All right. Go hunting. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Folks, join me now. It's South Carolina's version of. Baxter Black, right? Yep. yep. And, and this is Sean Eastman, folks, but he don't know who he is. He's either the U.S. Marshal or, or Mike Potter. Potter. <laughs> now, Sean, yep. now, let, you didn't kill Mike to get these no, guns, did I you? just stole it from him. <laughs> did you stole it? <laughs> at, at gunpoint? That's right. <laughs> well, Sean, tell us, what are you doing up here at T. Ed Garrison Arena? Having a, the board, South Carolina Border Wars is okay. a cowboy mounted shooting event. Uh, we hold every six, well, it's, we've had it six years. We hold it every year. It's a, kind of the challenge match between Georgia and South Carolina for bragging rights. We actually have a trophy that we do. Mm -hmm. we, we award to the winner. Uh, but this is the, probably the biggest shoot we've had in years. We got over 100 shooters here wow. this, this time. So so it's a lot of action going on. Well, Sean, we met through friends and Facebook, which is good because I've been wanting to cover Cowboy Man, and you turning me on some great guys. Well, how long have you been shooting? Well, it's kind of unusual because I shot when I lived out in New Mexico. Okay. Shot a little bit, but I was too concentrating on team roping. Okay. And, and I just kind of let shooting take a back seat to me until I moved back here, and I ended up quitting roping. And then I just went right back into shooting. So since I got back here, I've been shooting for a little bit over a year. And what level are you? I'm a lowly one. Lowly one? Just a one. I'm yeah. coming to see. <laughs> <laughs> you. Well, when you're not uh, shooting, yeah. murdering four defensive balloons, what yeah. do you do for a living? I'm an equine veterinarian. Right. Yes, sir. And then my wife and I have a mixed practice. She's a small animal vet. I'm a large animal vet, equine only, specializing right. in horses. I got And it. up in uh, the upstate of South Carolina. Yeah, up in the part of South Carolina they call it the dark corner. The dark so, corner. Yeah, I'm in the dark corner. I can so, imagine. Yeah. And but you move, you do a little something on the side, and you're quite an artist. I know you're a little uh, humble about that, but tell me about that. I've seen some of your work; it's pretty good. I didn't know I could do it until about a year and a half, two years ago. Uh -uh. So yeah, I, d I dabbled when I was a kid and just doodled. Didn't do much of it of anything in my and and my mom was cleaning out the house and found them. And she goes, you need to start this again. And so uh, I just gave it a shot. And I had a client that's a, an incredible artist. And she saw my work. And she said, you're going to take a class. And so I started taking a class at the local community college. And uh, the rest is history. I started drawing. And I, I love it. It's, a, it's been a really cool adventure. 
Really well, has. on your Facebook thing, you just got you, you call yourself what? The pot? cow punching pot liquor. Cow punching. Well, you yeah. want to expound on that a little well, bit? Well, <laughs> I used to live out in New Mexico, okay. and uh, and I, I I was a day worker for a little while, and they all they all call each other cow punchers. Okay. And my nickname was pot liquor. And, uh, and so when I moved back here, and my, my wife and I actually got into SAS shooting, Single Action Shooter Society, okay. and you have to have an alias. So uh, my wife looks at me and goes, you are the cow punching pot licker. <laughs> and that's how we got the, that's how I got the nickname, so that's what we go by. But I know you're quite a connoisseur of horse flesh. Tell us a little bit about your horse. Well, yeah, this is uh, Coco. She's a 15-year-old quarter horse. She's a dun mare. And I bought her as a rope horse. And uh, when I quit roping, I took her to shooting, and she she adapted to the gunfire. She took took really well to it, and uh, she's she's a fast one. She's a really good horse, and she's Poco Tivio bred, top and bottom. So she's got a little little raining blood in her, a little running blood. So she's good. Well, my horses are well bred too. They do have a top and they do have a bottom. That's right. <laughs> Well, so you know, how can folks get in touch with you? I know you're quite a veterinarian. Well, we, my wife and I's practice is Twin Oaks Veterinary Clinic, and uh, we have a website. Just look up Yahoo or Google Twin Oaks Veterinary Clinic. We're in Landrum, South Carolina. Just look us up if you ever need to do something. And I've also got a Facebook page for the arena called High and Lonesome Arena. You can just look that up. Anybody's welcome to come shoot anytime. Well, we are coming up, and I'm going to let the folks know that they cool. need to contact me. We're going to bring a crowd up. We got more. some people around uh, Florence want to try it. More the merrier. We got plenty of balloons, plenty of ammo. Let's go. Let's murder them. All righty. Thanks, Sean. Stay tuned for more horse tales. Horse tales are being brought to you today by Nationwide Insurance. When the PD Cowboy rides, he rides with Nationwide on his side. By Southern Equine Services. Located in Aiken, South Carolina, Dr. Jamie Clark and his staff offers Aiken and surrounding area with full service equine veterinary practice offering ambulatory and hospital services. Visit them online for all they offer to keep your horse healthy. Ken Law Supermarket, the meat store, now proudly carrying a full line of Carolina Fresh Foods three-pack fresh frozen chicken. Ride on into Ken Laws and tell Travis and Tommy Ken Laws you heard about them from the old PD Cowboy. And by Best Way Grocery, serving the Hemingway area with the best meats in the PD. Folks, the PD Cowboy rides for the brand, and my brand is Carolina Fresh Foods. We have a new product out on the range. So ride on into your local Piggly Wiggly or other fine retailer and ask for Carolina Fresh Premium Lick Order. And folks, if they don't have one in the crowd, Tell them to get cracking and call the old PD Cowboy and his elite posse of chicken wranglers. Carolina Fresh Foods, the name says it all. We are fresh delicious. 2014 is the year of the horse. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture is working to promote your horses and your business. We are working to open new areas for trail use and to let the public know how important horses are. South Carolina has world-class horses and horse people. From race horses to show horses, we have the best. The South Carolina Department of Agriculture, letting people know how important horses are. There once was a hungry road that wouldn't let drivers get very far. It wore out their tires, forcing them to buy new ones time and time again. And along came the Michelin Man who proved the right tire changes everything. With long-lasting tires in place, those drivers were back on the road to saving money. Michelin Hydro Edge tires last up to 33,000 miles longer. Michelin, a better way forward. When you hear the name Earnhardt, you might not immediately think of farming. But my family's been at it for years, just like Nationwide Agribusiness. In fact, they're the number one farm insurer in the nation. And with their On Your Side Farm Review, you get a personalized policy for your farm with the coverage you need at the right price for you. My family's trusted Nationwide for more than 30 years. To find out why, call your Nationwide Agribusiness agent today.
folks join me now as Lisa and Anna Phillips from Salem, South Carolina. A lot of witches coming over there, but not these sweet things. <laughs> folks, Cowboy Mountain Shooting, family affair. Lisa, how long y'all been doing this? Um, it, we're going on our second season. Uh, the first season, which was um, probably a year ago last June, we just we heard about it from Billy Cribs. Okay. And he said, show up, and I'll give you my hat, I'll give you my guns, and I'll give you my horse if you want to try it out. And what? we did. <laughs> That's how we got started. So, uh, what level shooter are you? I'm a level one. Okay. Um, my daughter here is a level one also. We, we just got started and Great. it takes several uh, wins. I can't remember for level one. Um, I think it's three wins to uh, okay. to move up to a level two and on up. <laughs> what discipline were you in before you got into Cowboy Mountain shooting? Just trail riding. Okay. We wow. Just trail riding. We, we, we live out in the country. We love guns. We love horses, of course. And uh, so that's how we got into it. We were just interested. Southern, by God. Right. <laughs> <laughs> how could you tell? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, watch, tell me about your little horse here. Uh, she's 23 years old. Um, she was my horse, but now my daughter's horse. I've had her ever since she was born. And getting her used to it, uh, Sam Helms, he was a trainer in Monroe, North Carolina. We took her over there, and he set her up for us and got her started. And uh, now my daughter and her are trying to click on the run. So. Well, 23, we're the same age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so really, what drew you to Cowboy Mountain Shooting? Just by hearing it. And we were interested because it had to do with guns and horses. Right. That, that was what, um, and we went to one of the South Carolina Mounted Shooters uh, events, and, and we, we've not stopped. I mean, we just show up. Now, sometimes she'll run, sometimes I'll run. Um, it just depends on if the horse is good, too. Also, we don't have two horses, so we have to share a horse, and that's kind of hard. That's the only thing about it right now for us. Well, that was pretty bold to go from trail riding to cowboy mounted shooting. I'm impressed. Yes, yes. Well, we shot guns. We, we do a little shooting on the side, and uh, she's shot all her life. So, And, of course, we were scared for her because these are 45s um, <laughs> shooting blanks, but they... Uh, they don't recoil, so that helps her out with her little hands. And my husband has fixed the triggers so she can shoot them a lot easier and trigger them. Well, Anna, who's better, you or mom? I think both of you the We want to check each. Oh. It ain't much, but we want to check each. A true politician. <laughs> well, guys, thank you, and good luck. We'll be seeing you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Folks, what a fantastic day here at T. Ed Garrison Arena. Folks, up here in Clemson is one of the best arenas in the southeast. And I'm sure if you get a chance, you're going to come up here and visit and see what they have to offer. Folks, this shoot today was a lot of hard work. All the shooting clubs from out the southeast kind of come together, help them put it together. Today, we just watched the camaraderie. There's a lot of volunteers made this happen today, folks. And I tell you, Cowboy Mountain shooting, it is the fastest going sport, I, equestrian sport. I believe I got that right. The old PD Cowboy is going to be trying. And I would like to mention that I am going to be putting a group together to come up with the guy I met today, Sean Eastman. We're going to be coming up and practicing a little bit. So. Contact me, horsetailstv.com. Let's talk. When we plan the trip, just, just come on and do it. Folks, that's what's so great about horsetails. You never know where we're going to be. All breeds, all discipline. You know I do like the things exciting, so we have a tendency to do a little bit of that. So, folks, until next week, keep your reins low and your hands quiet, and God bless this great country. Life.